Have you ever wondered if we can communicate with the universe itself? It's an intriguing notion, isn't it? This vast, infinite expanse of cosmos, stars and galaxies that we're a part of. Could it be more than just a silent backdrop to our existence? What if we could engage in a dialogue with the universe, a cosmic conversation of sorts? The idea may seem far-fetched, but consider this. Everything in existence, including you and me, is made up of stardust. We're all interconnected fragments of this grand cosmic tapestry. So why wouldn't we be able to communicate with the universe? One way to foster this connection is through mindfulness, a practice that brings our awareness in tune with the present moment and, by extension, the universe itself. By quieting our minds, we create a space to listen and respond to the cosmic whispers. Today, we will explore five ways to engage in this cosmic dialogue. The first method is through meditation. Meditation, a time-honored tradition practiced by countless cultures around the world, offers us a profound method to reach out and communicate with the universe. It's a process that begins with quieting the mind, a task that may seem daunting in our modern, fast-paced world. But by dedicating a few minutes each day to this practice, we can start to peel away the layers of stress and distraction that often keep us from truly connecting with the world around us. Imagine meditation as a conduit, a bridge that links us to the infinite expanse of the universe. As we sit in silence, we create a space for our thoughts to settle, for our minds to become still. This stillness, in turn, opens up a pathway to the universe, allowing us to tap into its vast wisdom and energy. But how do we achieve this state of mindfulness during meditation? Well, it's not about emptying the mind, but rather about becoming an observer. We watch our thoughts as they come and go, without judgment or attachment. We let them flow, like leaves on a stream, acknowledging their presence but not letting them sweep us away. This practice of observation helps us to cultivate a sense of detachment from our thoughts, giving us the freedom to connect more deeply with the universe. During meditation, we also focus on our breath, the life force that sustains us. Our breath becomes our anchor, keeping us grounded in the present moment. As we inhale and exhale, we can visualize the energy of the universe flowing in and out of us, a rhythmic exchange that further strengthens our connection. Over time, this practice of mindfulness during meditation can lead to profound insights and revelations. We begin to see the interconnectedness of all things, the cosmic dance of energy and matter that we are all a part of. We realize that we are not separate from the universe, but rather we are a vital piece of its grand tapestry. Through meditation, we can establish a calm and receptive state of mind, ready to converse with the universe. The second method is manifestation. Manifestation, in essence, is the practice of turning our mental desires into tangible reality. It's a process that begins within the quiet recesses of our minds, where we visualize our deepest yearnings and aspirations. These visualizations are not mere daydreams, but powerful, vivid images painted with the rich colors of our emotions and belief. It's like creating a mental blueprint of our desires. Now, you might wonder how these mental images can communicate with the universe. The answer lies in the energy that our thoughts and emotions carry. When we allow ourselves to fully experience our desires in our minds, we generate a potent energy that resonates with the universe. It's like sending out a cosmic signal, a message that echoes across the vast expanse of universal consciousness. But it's not enough to just visualize. The power of manifestation lies in the strength of our belief. You see, the universe responds to the frequency of our thoughts. When we harbor doubt or fear, we send out lower frequency vibrations. But when we infuse our thoughts with positivity and belief, we elevate the frequency of our vibrations, aligning ourselves with the higher frequencies of the universe. Belief, in this context, means truly accepting that our desires can and will come to fruition. It's about trusting the process, surrendering to the universe, and allowing it to guide us towards our dreams. It's about replacing I wish with I will. It's about casting aside doubt and embracing the certainty that our desires are within our reach. And let's not forget the importance of positive thinking in this process. Positive thoughts breed positive outcomes. When we focus on the good, we attract more good into our lives. 
It's like a cosmic law of attraction. So always remember to keep your thoughts and intentions positive, for they are the seeds that will bloom into the garden of your reality. By clearly visualizing our desires, we can communicate our intentions to the universe. The third method is prayer. Now when we mention prayer, it's essential to understand that it transcends religious affiliations. The beauty of prayer lies in its universality, its ability to bridge the gap between us and the broader cosmos, regardless of our individual belief systems. Think of prayer as a heartfelt conversation with the universe. It's an intimate dialogue, a sacred communion where we can articulate our deepest hopes, express our fears, and extend our gratitude. Prayer, in its essence, is a profound act of surrender. It's an acknowledgement of our human limitations and an invitation to the universe to guide us along our journey. It's not about asking for specific outcomes, but rather requesting the strength, wisdom and courage to navigate whatever comes our way. Moreover, prayer is a potent tool for cultivating mindfulness. It encourages us to slow down, to disconnect from the hustle and bustle of everyday life, and to connect with something greater than ourselves. It's a reminder that we are part of a grand cosmic tapestry woven together by the threads of existence. In prayer, we also find a platform for gratitude. Gratitude, as many mindfulness practitioners would attest, is a powerful catalyst for positive transformation. By expressing our thankfulness to the universe, we shift our focus from what we lack to what we have, fostering a sense of contentment and peace. So how do we pray? Well, there's no one-size-fits-all answer to this. Prayer is a deeply personal practice. It could be a whispered plea in the quiet of the night, a song of joy at the break of dawn, a silent thought amidst the chaos of the day, or a written word in a secret diary. The form matters less. What's important is the sincerity of our heart's intent. In prayer, we find a direct line of communication with the universe. It's an open channel, a cosmic hotline, if you will, always available, always receptive. It's a testament to the fact that we're never alone, that the universe is always listening, always responding in its own unique, mysterious ways. The fourth method is nature immersion. Picture yourself in the midst of a lush forest, the air around you alive with the rustle of leaves and the chatter of unseen creatures. This is more than just a pleasant day out. It's an opportunity to feel deeply connected to the universe. Nature is the universe's most tangible manifestation. It is a complex, beautiful tapestry woven from numerous threads of life and matter. When we immerse ourselves in nature, we are not merely observers, but participants in this grand cosmic play. As we walk through the woods, we're not just moving across terrain. We're traversing the veins of the universe, feeling its pulse beneath our feet. Each breath we take is an exchange of life, a dance of molecules that ties us to every tree, every blade of grass, every creature that shares this space with us. Now let's take a moment to consider how mindfulness fits into this. Mindfulness in nature isn't about doing, but about being, being present, being aware, being part of the universe's rhythm. It's about observing the intricate details, appreciating the beauty around us, and recognizing our place within the bigger picture. This method doesn't require any special skills. All it needs is an open heart, a keen eye, and a willingness to connect. By immersing ourselves in nature, we can experience the universe's grandeur firsthand. The fifth and final method is creative expression. This method is as diverse and unique as we are as individuals. It allows us to tap into our deepest thoughts and feelings and to share these sentiments with the universe. You see, creativity isn't limited to just art, music, or writing. It's an expansive landscape that encompasses all the ways we express ourselves. When we create, we're not just putting pen to paper or brush to canvas or fingers to instrument, we're releasing a part of our soul into the world. We're sharing our perspective, our experiences, our hopes, our fears, and in doing so, we're communicating with the universe in a way that's incredibly personal and profoundly meaningful. Think of each creation as a letter, a poem, or a song to the universe. It's a conversation that's happening not with words, but with emotions, ideas, and experiences. It's a dialogue that transcends the boundaries of language and taps into something much deeper. Moreover, this creative process helps us understand ourselves better. It's a journey of self-discovery, 
of delving into the depths of our being and emerging with a better understanding of who we are and what we want from the universe. We're not just talking to the universe, we're also talking to ourselves. Through creative expression, we can speak to the universe in our unique language. So, these are the five ways to communicate with the universe. Firstly, we have meditation, a silent conversation with the cosmos. It's all about stillness, about finding that inner calm and opening your mind to the infinite possibilities the universe has to offer. Secondly, manifestation. This method is about visualizing your desires, about painting a vivid picture in your mind and trusting that the universe will respond in kind. Thirdly, we have prayer, a traditional and time-tested way to converse with the universe. It's a heartfelt plea, a sincere thank you or a humble request, spoken with conviction. Fourthly, nature immersion. This is about connecting with the universe through the natural world around us, about feeling that oneness with every leaf, every stone, every wave. And finally, creative expression. This method is about using art, music, dance, or any form of creative outlet as a means to communicate your thoughts, feelings, and desires to the universe. Remember, the universe listens when you truly open yourself up and communicate with your heart and mind. 